Hello friends, I am Moom and today I am gonna tell you some amazing and best operating systems for low-end PCs. So, let's get started. So, the first operating system in our list is Archcraft. It's a minimalistic and lightweight operating system that requires less than 500 MB of RAM. And it uses window managers and lightweight applications. And it looks so amazing and beautiful I must say. It is available only for 64-bit architectures. There's no 32-bit or ARM editions yet. And the latest release of Archcraft can be downloaded easily from their website. Link is in the description. And you can run this operating system without installing directly from USB after booting it. So you can just easily test it and then decide whether to install it or not. And you see Archcraft is designed to be minimalistic with a focus on speed and efficiency. And Archcraft features flat and pastel colors, consistent UI elements and various themes for a clean and stunning look. Archcraft offers latest softwares built in support with AUR, making it a powerful tool for Linux users, power users and professionals alike. But let's say you want something simple, easy to use and beautiful at the same time, which will get your work done at ease. Then let me introduce you Android x86 or to be specific BlissOS. You see the latest version of BlissOS comes with the latest of the greatest Android 12L and 13 and above. BlissOS offers a minimal theme design, customization settings, speed, stability and compatibility with wide range of features including Chromebooks, PCs and tablets released in the last 10 years. And this OS gives you a minimal design theme without any bloatware and without any unwanted adware apps. And BlissOS offers many customizable options for screens of various sizes, allowing users to set up their devices as they want. And this operating system is so fast and stable that I must say, and this operating system is so fast and stable and definitely more reliable than any other operating system. And users can choose between desktop UI and tablet UI based on the launcher use. And this operating system also gives you taskbar, which is really nice. And the system is immutable, ensuring the operating system score remains unchanged. And this operating system is pre-rooted with kernel SU, allowing you to granting the root permission for apps and installation of Magisk module. And BlissOS is open source, ensuring that nothing is being sold and no malicious code is included. And this operating system respects user privacy. You have options between an open source version without any Google services and a stock Android with all the Google service. And this operating system supports all Intel and AMD x86 and 64 V2 compatible CPUs and GPUs, including Intel, AMD and Nvidia. Just a perfect operating system for everyone. I use it personally for content creation, and day to day task. And now let's move to the third operating system. Let me introduce you Chrome OS Flex, a free, lightweight, and scalable operating system built for business and organizations. It is easy to modernize outdated devices and provide a fast and secure computing experience on it. You see, Chrome OS Flex is optimized for performance, providing a fast and responsive experience with wide range of features. It is purely developed for cloud based management. You don't get any softwares like Windows and neither you get the proper Android support on it but you still have Linux support so yeah, it'll be okay. You see, if you have a low-end PC and you just want to use it on your day-to-day -day task then Chrome OS Flex is an amazing option. You just need at least 4 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage and that's it. You'll get a faster and more secure computing experience and the system will be updated automatically forever or as long as Google does. Chrome OS Flex is a sustainable solution that extends the life of existing low-end PCs which are very old to run Windows on it. But let's say you're not satisfied with just day-to-day -day dark, you want to do something professional along with daily driver. For you, I have Deep in Linux, an Ubuntu based Linux operating system with a beautiful UI design and inmate human computer interaction. It is very easy to install and has a user friendly desktop environment and uses its own Deep in desktop environment, which is really looking awesome. And I know it looks like Mac OS, but maybe it is a little better than that because we have Linux on it. And if you don't know about the power of Linux, brother, you need to learn a lot. And you say you can easily install applications from their own software center or app store where you can get Windows apps and Android apps along with Linux apps, all of them in one click. 
and you get some default applications too like the deep in file manager the deep in terminal the deep in music and you know stuff like that and to run it you just need a little as 2 gigs of ram and 20 gigs of storage and that will be enough and just like deep in linux we have another linux operating system in this list let me introduce you Qtfish Reborn. You see, Qtfish Reborn is also a Linux operating system which is also inspired by macOS but looks a little better than Deepin. In some cases, the goal of Qtfish OS is to provide the users with a comfortable interface design, better user experience, and a better choice. It focuses on simplicity, beauty, and practicality. It has an elegant and beautiful design, it's easy to use, and has a modern style design overall the operating system. It is based on open source Linux kernel, so it is free forever. And you see the desktop is efficient, beautiful and modern, built with Qt Quick and some KDE basic frameworks and it is more secure than any other operating system besides Linux operating system for sure because all of them are secure unless you download the wrong one. It has developers from all over the world to review its code and ensure that there are no bugs and glitches backdoors and you see the latest version Qtfish OS Reborn has been updated to Debian 12 Bookworm which is very stable and reliable as compared to other Linux distribution. And that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for daily dose of awesome open source and Linux content uploaded on this channel and I'll meet you in the next video till then I'm Moon signing out.